Note that right over here you have the optic nerve. The hippocampus is right over here. This is, of course, the insula. And at the very tip of the hippocampus, this structure right over here is the amygdala. Underneath the insula, we can see the putamen. So the putamen is red, as you can see right over here. So we're going to remove the putamen from the model. And when we look inside, you have the globus pallidus. So the globus pallidus is internal or medial to the putamen, which is on the outside right over here. If you look at one half of this model, you can see the caudate nucleus, which is right over here. So here's the head of the caudate nucleus, and here is the tail. Here is a view of the other half. Now you can see the caudate nucleus very clearly. It is this red structure here, again, is the head of the caudate nucleus. And you can see the tail extending down into the temporal lobe. So here is the other side. I'm going to remove the insula. Now, again, we can see the caudate nucleus, but we can also see the putamen. So right over here is the head of the caudate nucleus and here is the tail, and now you can see how the tail extends into the temporal lobe. And here is the putamen. Now we notice how there are fibers that are interconnecting the caudate nucleus with the putamen. And because of the way the fibers cross from one to the other, Together, the caudate nucleus and the putamen are sometimes referred to as the striatum. Here you can see the cerebral nuclei removed from the model. And from this angle, we can see the caudate nucleus again. And here is the putamen. Now let's turn it around and look at the inside. Here we are looking at the cerebral nuclei from a medial view. And here is the head of the caudate nucleus again. And here is the tail going down into the temporal lobe. Now the putamen would be over here. But we are looking from a medial perspective here. And right over here, this darker red portion would represent the globus pallidus. So again, we have in this removable part, we have the caudate nucleus, the putamen, and the globus pallidus.